In this week's People in Places, we are stopping in Bertie County. We're taking a look at a family business celebrating 100 years helping local farmers. But that's only half the story. These days, they're also using peanuts to promote the county they call home all over the world. The peanut, it's a way of life in Bertie County. For years and years and years, Bertie County was the number one producer of peanuts in North Carolina. From Windsor to Colerain, Roxabelle to Askewville, and everywhere in between, Generations of farmers have made a living off this legume. Well, we have probably the best soil uh, in eastern North Carolina for growing peanuts. It's a sandy soil. It's surrounded by rivers, so it has plenty of uh, uh, water for growing the peanuts. John Powell is vice president of Powell and Stokes in Windsor, a business helping those farmers since 1919. Fertilizer, seed, um, farm supply uh, for the farmers here in Bertie County and surrounding areas. But that's not all they do. They also own and operate Bertie County Peanuts, sold here in Windsor, online, and at more than 300 stores nationwide. When Dad started the business, uh, he was talking to a lot of guys in town, and they were trying to promote uh, Bertie County in the town of Windsor. And that's why they came up with the idea of Bertie County Peanuts. And I think it's really helped a lot just getting the name out there. Being one of the, the, the poorest counties in North Carolina, and therefore in the, in the, in the nation, one of the reasons we chose that name, Bertie County Peanuts, was to try to help advertise the county and, and do what we could to, to market the area. And people appreciate that. What began when Jack Powell Sr. started cooking blister peanuts in a popcorn popper, then became a full-fledged operation in 1994. Now Bertie County Peanuts offers dozens of varieties, most with a local twist. We try to, as much as possible, use names from Bertie County. Bachelor Bay, for example, uh, the Weeping Mary's uh, ghost pepper peanuts uh, are, are named for two locations in Bertie County. We get people from all over uh, basically the country coming in here, and a lot of people know a little bit about peanuts, and a lot of people don't know much at all about peanuts. So it's good talking and meeting these people. It's Alaska has been the farthest. Um, we, uh, we've had, we had folks from Korea in here the other day, um, China. Serving up delicious peanuts to people around the world and taking care of farmers here at home. It's what makes Bertie County Peanuts and Powell and Stokes one of the most unique businesses in the East. Well, yeah, I think we're unique, definitely unique. You know, we're a family business. We've been here almost 100 years. And we try to do uh, a little bit of both, the, the, the retail peanuts and the, and the farm supply as well. And it, it keeps us busy and keeps us happy. <laughs> And to give you an idea of just how much Bertie County peanuts are in demand, their kitchen operates four to five days a week. Ten years ago, that kitchen only operated two days a month. If you have an interesting person or place you'd like to see featured, we'd love to hear from you. Just reach out to me through email or on one of my social media accounts.